Hi, I'm Paul Maslin, sales manager for Specialty Silicone Fabricators. We are a contract silicone fabricator serving the medical device industry and we've been serving this marketplace for over 25 years. We have three locations in the United States. One in Tustin, California, down in Orange County. One in the central coast of California in Paso Robles. And a third satellite location out in Elk Rapids, Michigan. In each of these locations, we serve the marketplace by providing silicone extrusion technologies, silicone molding technologies, calendaring of sheet product, as well as final assembly and packaging or secondary assemblies of subcomponents. An example of some problems or issues that we've been able to help our customers solve to reduce cost would be an example here of this extrusion where rather than extruding a single lumen tube it, and then cutting that and doing an insert molding operation with our GeoTrans extrusion process we have the ability to extrude this all in one piece so this is a continuous extrusion where the, the two lumens join together to form a dual lumen configuration here and then at the far end of the product we're able to split that back again and that eliminates any secondary operations which saves a substantial amount of cost. Another example of using this technology to save cost is the formation of silicone based balloons typically used at the distal end of catheters. In this section here we're able to thin out the wall of our catheter to provide a balloon. So the length of this balloon can be any length that the customer is looking for whether it's shorter or longer but the fact that we're able to do this without molding as you would traditionally see over a bandrel saves us the the wear and tear on an operator of demolding product as well as saves substantial amount of cost because the extrusion process for these balloons is substantially faster than the molding process and speaking of molding we have here examples of the various materials that we mold with, the lowest being a 5 durometer material ramping up all the way to the highest of an 80 on the shore A scale is what that's, how that's measured. And as far as molding is concerned, some of the newer technology that we're involved in is our drug eluding technology where we are taking active pharmaceutical ingredients, mixing them in with the silicone polymer specifically for targeted therapy in the body and we are involved in applications such as ophthalmology and women's health as well as cardiology utilizing this innovative drug eluding technology